Hello everyone, welcome back to Skeleton Bushcraft and Survival. Thank you very much for joining me. Now, being out and about in the woods, bushcraft, and all that good stuff, it requires some gear, whether you're making it for yourself or buying it from the store. However, buying it from the store sometimes makes your job a lot easier, just like this auger right here. Now, I've made mention in earlier videos that I really wanted to get out and use it and demonstrate it. And that's what we're going to do today. It's a cool little bushcraft auger. It's got, a, you know, you just cut a stick and run it through there. And then you can drill holes all day long. Well, we're going to be using this to make one of these, a pulley. Now, there's a lot of different reasons why that you uh, would use a pulley. Especially out and about trying to get your stuff up out of the way. Now, I'll go more in detail later on in the video. But nevertheless... This is what we're gonna be doing. Come along with me and we'll make one. All right, so I found this uh, felled tree here and uh, I cut this part off just to see. It's been laying here for a while and I didn't want it, you know, to get halfway in and then find out that it was already rotted away. But this looks good and solid on the inside here, nice and cured. So I'm gonna go ahead and drill a hole right in the center of this so I just got to find center what I did was is I used the teeth I lined it up and counted every tooth and then divided that in two that's half so did that in both directions to find out what the center was so I have the center and now I'm gonna go ahead and drill the hole And that's what I'm saying about these augers. They're amazing. The alternative solution to that right there would have been burning it out. And uh, this made short work of it. Bending over isn't so easy, but uh, doing a bow drill and burning a hole through there. Whew, this right here is a lifesaver. All right, so we got the hole drilled. This cut off. The only thing that we're needing to do is take off the bark and make a groove around it for the rope to fit on. And also, I cut a stick here. It fits in there. So it's a easy turn in there. And uh, once I get this done, then we'll go ahead and finish this up. All right, so I've got the grooves done and everything. Works good. Tied on a rope to it on each side. I just did a hangman's knot on both sides of this right here to hold it. And then made a, uh, a loop knot right here so I can hang it up someplace. And uh, that's what we're getting ready uh, to do, actually, uh, to hang it up someplace and uh, lift something up with it. Now, I got to set it up here. And, of course, this one right here, I cut two grooves in it because I have plans for a future project. Uh, normally for this job, you would put it right in the center, you know? But the purpose of this right here is really, if you're in an area where there's bears, there's cats and things like that, you're wanting to get your food and stuff up out of the way. And if you ever tried throwing a uh, rope through a, a fork in a tree and then pulling that up there, it pulls, it snags, it, you know, it's, it's really hard to pull. And sometimes it gets to the point where you can't even pull it. 
Well, having a pulley system like this right here, you can throw this part over the fork, tie it off, and then you can use this pulley system to pull up and down. And you see it's turning. And then it's a lot easier to pull that up and tie it off so you can have your supplies, you know, up out of reach. So this right here is something that would have uh, taken all day in order to be able to do if we burnt that through. Having that auger right there, and I said in an earlier video that I was really wanting to come back out and use that auger and, you know, use it for different things. And I'm going to be using it for more things down the road. But uh, this one right here, it's, it's something simple, but very important and very useful. And it's something that you can use that auger for makes the job all so much easier now to explain this one right here having a second groove in there for a system you know it's kind of self-explanatory if you know anything about pulleys but i plan on building up a system so that's the reason why i put the second groove there well anyway i hope that you enjoyed that's going to be it for me today thank you very much for watching take care thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed. If you like this type of video, please like, share, and subscribe. I have many more coming up in the future. Until then, take care. And remember, nature, it does provide.